meantime, Chicago Bears quarterback Justin Fields does not seem to be progressing and getting any better through the Chicago Bears' first three games of the 2022 NFL season. So uh, is it time to panic? Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk, back at it with another video talk. And, of course, my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, hit the big red subscribe button, people. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms, guys. And, as always, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so the question bags, is it time to panic? All right, I'll start with this and then we'll get into what I got to say because there's a lot. Is it time to panic? Probably not because it's still very, very early. Three games in, still got 14 more. But, there's always a but, it is not looking good, people. It's not looking good one bit, okay? You would think the Bears being 2-1 and one through their first three games would be a very good sign for a team that Vegas had the win total at five and a half or five and a half. So like just six wins. So we're literally four wins away from, you know, proving Vegas wrong. You would think that's a good thing. But the problem is the most important piece of this entire season does not seem to be progressing. And that's just feels like I told you this season was never about wins. I, I picked the Bears to beat the Texans. I should be happy about that, right? And I am. But I'm not happy about the fact that our quarterback does not look good. Make no mistake about it, people. Justin Fields was awful today. He'll say it himself. He said in press conference, he was terrible. He was trash today. Okay? There's no doubt about it. Justin Fields was hesitant in the pocket, missing wide receivers, not throwing accurately, not throwing deep, not checking down properly, footwork's been bad. Like, there's almost nothing he's doing well at the quarterback position at this point. Through three games, Justin Fields is 23 for 45, which is about a little bit better than 50%, just a smidge. 297 passing yards. Through three games, by the way, keep in mind, quarterbacks throw regularly, regularly, if I could speak, for 300 passing yards in one game, Fields has 297 through three and two touchdowns and four interceptions. And this latest one against the Texans had no touchdowns and two interceptions. Justin Fields is playing very bad right now. And this is kind of what I was afraid of in the offseason when I know that the Bears did not surround Fields with a lot of weapons. And I was thinking, man, are they setting him up to fail because you have no weapons for this man and so you aren't doing everything you can to maximize his talent, right? We can go down the line here of quarterbacks that we've seen progress with talent around them, like like even you're seeing that right now with Jalen Hurts, Tua Tagovailoa, a perfect example, right? Those playmakers and Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, how much that's helping Tua. Do you think Tua would be able to do that with Darnell Mooney and Cole Komet? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, Josh Allen, we all know everyone loves using that example. So, it's, it's, it's very apparent that better weapons are needed. But even still, with the current weapons you have, did I expect Justin Fields to play this bad? No, I did not. I'm telling you, Justin Fields has no confidence at this point. And even worse, the coaching staff has no confidence in Justin Fields. They refuse to pass the football. You saw in the Texans game, Matt Eberflus didn't care that he had three timeouts uh, going into the half because he's not using them because he doesn't trust the passing game. Luke Getze regularly, regularly dials run plays on third and longs. Who does that in the NFL right now? Nobody. But Luke Getze's doing that. Now, I will say it's not all on Justin. He's a young quarterback. You are supposed to put him in position to succeed. Luke Getze is not doing that. Luke Getze is not getting this man in rhythm. He is not dialing up easy plays. I've been saying this for two weeks now. When's the last time we've seen a slant pass? Like, are, do those not exist anymore? Does Luke Getzey not know what a slant pass is? Can we get some easy throws, easy completions that are not just screen passes? All right, Luke Getzey has not done a good job je getting Justin Fields in, in rhythm. His play calling has been downright atrocious. And then Matt Eberflus also has him great himself. And keep in mind... We're talking about Ryan Poles, again, not surrounding Justin Fields with talent. So it's an accumulation of everything kind of combining into one. Now you might be thinking, Fives, why are we talking about this when the Bears are 2-1 and one on the season? 
This is why. This season is about not about wins. It's about the development of Justin Fields. If Fields does not develop, what is the point of having seven or eight wins, missing the playoffs, and getting a bad draft pick? Like, I, I, I thought we were done with that. Remember when everybody was out on Mitch at the very end and we knew that, you know, Nagy's getting fired and Pace is going to be gone and we're going to move on from Mitch. Remember that season? And the Bears won all these meaningless games when we know that a draft pick would have been better for us. So it's like, yes, at the end of the day, the goal is to win football games. But you have to understand, sometimes in order to take a step forward, you have to take two steps back. All right? In in a crazy world, like people might not agree with me on this, but if Justin Fields just destroys today, has like 300 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, plays beautifully, and the Bears lose, would you rather have that or this? Right? Because my thing is we're thinking long-term, right? Long-term. The Bears are not winning the Super Bowl this year. We know that. If you think they are, please go ahead and take some bets with me. I'll take that with you guys all day. But we know they're not. So it's like we're building towards the future. And yes, wins are important. I totally get it. But nothing's more important than the quarterback position, folks. Nothing's more important. So to me, it's not time to panic yet. But look, we got a couple of games coming up here still against fairly easy opponents. Giants. And the Gi I shouldn't say easy. Giants are 2-0. and They're playing really well right now. Maybe we should have hired Brian Dayball, who I liked. Um, we got the Vikings at Minnesota. We got the Commanders. So, like, here's the thing. It's one thing if Justin Fields is playing bad against the Packers. It's a very good defense. It's a very good team. It's another thing entirely if Justin Fields can't even play well against the Texans, who aren't good. If Justin Fields can't play well against the Commanders, if Fields can't play well against the lesser competition of teams, that's a problem. And keep this in mind. If you are a Justin Fields fan, this regime with Eber Flus and Pulse has absolutely no um, commitment to Fields. They never drafted him. He's not their guy. If they decide to move on from him, so be it. Be in terms of what they're going to say. I, I, I think Justin Fields absolutely deserves this entire season. It's way too early. It's still way too early. I'm just saying to you, if we get a few more games into this, yes, it's time to start worrying. It's time to start worrying because you need to see some progression. But receivers can't get open. Cole Komet, Darnell Mooney, Equinemia St. Brett. Like these guys can't get open. So it's a accumulation of everything just piling up. Bad play calling. Bad mechanics by Justin Fields. Bad quarterback play. Receivers not getting open. Like everything is just piling up and you're getting this bad offense. This offense by the Bears is archaic. It's so bad at this point. So to me, uh, like the answer is it's not time to panic yet, but it will be if we don't see some progress. Like I need some progress. I really need it because Justin Fields' development is the most important thing this entire season, not the wins, the development of Fields. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always.